This is actually perfect. We get Encore. He's going to have to sit here and click Aura Sphere over and over again. That's fine with me. And I can whittle this thing down. The hail does stop, but the fucking carnage doesn't, dude. Alright, here we are with the battle versus Goki. We see he has the Magirna, the Dusclops. Ew. Uh, Pangoro. Uh, what did I say? Pangoro, Licky Licky. Dougie. And Mints. Okay, so this is interesting because he has a whole ass Rillaboom that he did not bring. So that's super interesting. He also had a few other things that I was, uh... I was expecting. Let's find out what they were. No Rotom Wash, no Azelf, no Colossal. Cool. So the good thing is Cinderace's U-turns are free. We don't need to worry about getting Flame Body burned. Uh, Blood Sea absolutely goes in this game, man. In fact, I'm going to just lead with it. We're just going to lead with it. We got knockoff on Sand Slash, which will be really nice for some of those uh, little bulky boys down there. Um, could definitely see Tricker and Magirna come in this game, so I will need to keep pressure on stuff when I can, you know? But uh, Dual Dance Thundee looking absolutely fantastic behind the veil. Let's get into it. Like I said, we're going up against Goki. Real cool dude, you know? Um, <coughs> excuse me, still pretty sick. Trying to m make through it, make it through it. So if you hear any weird noises, I'm sorry. But that's why we don't have face cam. <laughs> he leads sub noodle. Let's see if this fuck can outspeed me if he is choice scarf. Not choice band, choice scarf. Jolly, he gets 181, he does not outspeed us. The problem is, we don't exactly switch in well to this. Um, wait, actually, low kick kills. Should I just low kick? I think this is too important to be fucking around with. I'm gonna just U turn out. He does withdraw, thank god. <laughs> he goes into croissant, which is going to be the mints. But yeah, uh, I've been sick, we were supposed to play Friday, and dude, I just couldn't do it. Uh, Goki was kind enough to let me uh, push back till Sunday, so shout out to him, he's the real MVP. And then, <laughs> I saw him tweet yesterday that now he's sick, so we're just passing around sicknesses via email over here, you know? Um, this brings out the Esdeath. And we can get our veil up. We can get our Veil up. If we really wanted to, we could just throw off an attack. But I think we need to get up our Veil. That's kind of the whole point of this team. I'm going to click that. If he's, I'll just say, if he is Scarf with like Iron Tail, that is going to suck. He does go into blah, 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 blah. I didn't even think about that. Dude, that's so good. I forgot. I was so worried about this guy being, uh... I was so worried about him being fucking, uh... Oblivious. I didn't even think about that. That's hilarious. Really good bring on his part. Holy shit. Um, okay, so that... That is a little bit rough, huh? I guess we'll go into our five head, and we'll get up our stealth rock, so at least we don't, uh... At least we don't gotta worry about that too much. We can get up, uh... You know... Get up our hazards. He his only removal would be mints. He does go for that knockoff. Um, we will just get up our stealth rocks here. He does go into the sub noodle. Okay. Okay, so we do know that I'm faster, which is cool. Um, I kind of just want to honestly, dude, I don't really switch into this thing. 
I can go Nine Tails, but Bullet Punch is gonna fuck me up. I kind of just want to T-wave him. I'm just gonna click T-wave. Paralyze this thing. He's obviously he led with it, and he brought it in here for a reason. And I do not wish to take any more damage. So at least we can get this guy in here. Got him T-waved. He knocked us off, which is fine. Um, I can just throw off an Earth Power now. And we should be able to at least see if he is like AV or something. Like I said, I could also go into Nine Tails. I don't think that's worth. I'm going to just click us a nice Earth Power. That does about 20% 20, 20 if even. So I'm pretty sure that boy is going to be... Uh, Oh, oh, he puppin' dog. Oh, he puppin' dog. <laughs> that is not great. Um, I just need Earth Power again. Pemgoro, I'm gonna assume he is Assault Vest. Yeah, that looks about right. Assault Vest with some HP. Uh, the good news is, we should be able to uh, pick this guy off with uh, Cinderace. Cool, so Necro is going to go down to Pangoro. We bring out our boy. Good old Cinderace. Rocks are up. Now, I... Uh, I just low kick here. I just low kick here. Uh, if he goes Dusclops, that's annoying, but I'm not going to risk missing. He does withdraw. He was in a croissant. Okay. Fair. Fair. That did a chunk, huh? I'll pick U-turn here. I think after this U-turn damage, yeah, he should be in range of two attacks, so that's cool. Now, I am going to go into... Do I want to go into Roserade? I don't think Roserade's the play. Um, I think I could see a fire move coming out here, so I think I'm just going to Thundee. He does Defog, okay. The good news is, I think I can just raw Nasty Plot right here. The only thing that would outspeed me would be the Duggy. And I'm actually not super worried about that. So I am going to go for Nasty Plot here. I think he might want to go into Licky Licky or Dusclops. The unfortunate thing is, we can't actually touch Dougie with the set, so that does suck a little bit. But if he goes hard into it now, uh, we should be able to KO it. And we know Pangoro is at about 75. This is at about 50. Uh, and we should be able to KO this. Wait a fucking minute. Did I get up Stealth Rocks? I'm positive I got up Stealth Rocks. Why did this take no damage? Okay, we do take a Toxic. That's fine. Um, Sludge Wave only does 15. That's unfortunate. Does he go? Does he go Dougie here? I don't think you do. I'll just click it again.
Dusclops goes down to Sunday. Was he like boots Dusclops? Goes into Burrows. Did I just not get up? Oh, he defogged. I'm so dumb, dude. Can you believe my silliness? I think he throws off a Stone Edge here. Which is really good versus me. So I'm going to switch out. I'm definitely going to save this. I'm going to go into our Roserade, who is Choice Scarf, so we can potentially break this guy's thing. And he does miss. You love to see it. I can actually live two from this guy as well. So, while we are Choice Scarf, uh... No, Gleam's not the play. We'll Energy Ball. The way he defogged, I'm pretty sure he is going to be uh, sashed. He does withdraw. Interesting. Probably should have gone for the old Sleep Powder. We do see Magirna come out. It takes a little chunk. It takes a little chunker. I think I just want to go hard into Blood Sea on this, as he could click an Ice Beam here, he could click an Agility, um, he could click a Psychic move, and I don't really want to take any of those things. What do we see? Aura Spear, okay. Now we get a Pyro Ball for sure. Mints should be in range of two of these. Ooh, might not be. Might not be. That's close, dude. That's real close. I don't like it. That's close. Not a big fan. Um, hold on. Yeah, he's on the he's on the the taller side of that order too. So we're gonna click U-turn. He can roost. Magina's at about eighty. I'm going right back into S Death. So Licky Licky definitely looking like an issue. At least we can potentially encore it, so that's nice. He does roost, okay. Um, do I want to double into our little sand slash here? Because he'd be in versus Licky. Um Let's do that. I don't think you want to stay in and take this damage. I think you might want to go into Magirna, or you might want to go into uh, Licky here. He does go into blah 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 blah. So I definitely want to knock off this thing, get rid of them lefties, that will make it easier to deal with overall. We should outspeed, um, yeah we should outspeed. What did I? Okay so that is, so now homeboy isn't paralyzed, okay. Icicle Crash can potentially 2 KO here. Knockoff did about 25. Yeah, I'm gonna Icicle Crash.
fire punch. Interesting. Okay, that's definitely gonna take me out. No, it's not. Oh, by golly, no, it's not. Okay. Um, do I... Fuck, man. This is the only thing standing in the way. I got Icicle Crash again. You can actually take me out if you want. I don't really care. Goes into Origin. Which is the mag. Gonna take an Icicle Crash. Nice. More chip on this is amazing. So here's the unfortunate thing. If he has any speed, he's gonna like I I'm, I'm adamant with 76. We're the base with same base speed here. Um But if he kills me, that's not the biggest deal. I'm gonna go drill run. Because then I get to come in with Cinderace. He does have War Spear. Fuck. Okay. So same flash is gonna die to Mag. He's gonna get Soul Heart Boost. Understandable. Have a nice day. We go right back into Blood Sea. And Mince is back at a healthy range. Let's actually click U-turn. Let's actually go ahead and click us a nice U-turn. Do you see Big Mints come back out? Now we bring out good old Nine Tails once again. We get to fire off some Moonblast this time. So, Magirna is at like what, 65? Something like that? 60 ish? This thing's low. If he switches out here, he is definitely going to be in range. We're going to click Moonblast. Moonblast should be able to, to take care of this thing. Since we knock up the lefties, that is a 2 KO. Love to see it, dude. Hooking it again. Not even gonna worry. <coughs> okay, so Lakey is gonna die to uh, Nine Tails. He can go Pangoro and click uh, Bullet Punch. He does go Magirna. Okay, so I get up Veil here. Straight up, we just get up Veil. Just gonna get up the Veil. Just gonna get up the old Aurora Veil. We see an Aura Sphere here. Nice. Now we can encore him into said uh, said button. This is actually perfect. We can encore. He's gonna have to sit here and click Aura Sphere over and over again. That's fine with me. And I can whittle this thing down. The hail does stop, but the fucking carnage doesn't, dude. <laughs> He's got Pangoro, Dougie, Mince, and Magirna in the back. So, um, I think I just clicked Moonblast. I just clicked Moonblast, dude. Yeah, I'll stay in and chip this thing down. Magirna's such a threat, dude. I will gladly stay in and chip this thing down. Just gonna keep clicking. My time's a lot lower than I thought it was, TBH.
the encore does end. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna click it again. I'm just gonna play it safe. We do encore. Yeah, he has no reason not to click like flash cannon or something here. How many turns of Veil do we have? Oops. Got three turns left. Good enough for me, Buckaroo. Okay, move blast again. And do I want to just move blast again? That will let in whatever. Um, yeah, we'll just do it. It's fine. Should be fine. Magirna being gone is so nice, dude. So he's got Pangoro at 75, Dougie at full health, and Mince at about 50. He can't bring in Mince here. Actually, Mince is a little bit lower if he took a U-turn, so he should be in range of 2 now. That's what I said last time, but oh well. Pangoro at 75, Dougie at full health. I think he goes Dougie here. He does. I will click Freeze Dry. He does just click EQ, nice. Aurora Veil does wear off now. So let me see this. If Rosa Raid kills this with two Dazzling Gleams. Rosa Raid with two Dazzling Gleams should in fact kill. So we are going to go into that. I can't also just straight up kill this. Actually, it's going to take two anyways, right? Because it's going to be sashed. So we will just gleam. Nine tails died to Dougie. He's going to withdraw. Into sub noodle. This is why we do it, boys. This is why we do it. Pangoro is going to die to Rose. Uh, crit didn't matter. This is times more effective. I know he's uh, Assault Vest, but this still does so much, dude. Uh, Rose Raid in the late game was something I was kind of looking at most of the time. It's kind of nice. So now he has big ol' croissant here. He doesn't know that we are Choice Scarf. I'm going to outspeed, and I am going to bonk you right in the mouth with this here Dazzling Gleam. Does it even matter if he's like Spadaf? I don't think so. This is super effective. This is, dude, Roserade has 125 base special attack. He do not be messing around. Yeah, Gleam does 50 to max HP. And he's probably Fizz Death because of the uh, Cinderace. Yep, so Mince, Dice to Rose. He is back in with this. I just quit Gleam again. This is to a KO. And we always have the Sucker Punch to be able to uh, knock this thing. We also have just enough defensive investment so that this thing's Earthquake shouldn't kill us. If he's Choice Banded, that is a different story. He is not Choice Banded. Investment coming through. Let's fucking go. See Dazzling Gleam. Does he have Sucker Punch? Oh! <gasps> Roserade, that's a Doug. Um, Thundy, Thundy, Thundy. This is tough, man. This is actually real tough. I think we gotta go Thundy. Sludge Wave mm, probably doesn't kill, but maybe if he misses Edge. He does hit, which does kill us. Oh no, dude. <laughs> 
It's gonna come down to Sucker Punch games. It's gonna come down to Sucker Punch games. Unfort. Okay, so if he's smart, right, he clicks Sucker Punch on me, and does that kill? Sucker Punch does 20 to 30. I'm gonna click it. I'm so scared. Oh, thank fucking god he dies, dude. Okay. I hate Sucker Punch mind games more than anything in this world, dude. I fucking hate it so much. You will never see me draft Bisharp because I hate Sucker Punch. So the fact that I end up with Liberace and it has to rely on Sucker Punch sometimes is so frustrating. So there I was heavily contemplating whether I wanted to click Pyro Ball, expecting him to Sucker Punch on my Sucker Punch. But I think... Uh, I think that was my play. Obviously, I won the fucking game, so that, that was the play. But that's a scary turn, man. That's a scary turn. Dougie almost brought that back for him, which is insane. Uh, and it's not like we could do anything. You know what I mean? We were trapped in. Locking out of the Gleam was definitely the play. It killed the other two things. So, I'll take it, dude. GG's to Goki. That was a really, really close one. Much closer than I would have liked. Uh, sacrificing wishing up stuff to damage my Sand Slash was really, really nice on his end. But that also let me weaken his uh, the rest of his team to be dealt with by Scarf Rosa Raid and Cinderace. So, uh, not my best game. Definitely a little uh, a little rusty here, but uh, we'll take it, dude. We get the 1-0. So even though we lost by, I think, either three or four week one, so our diff will still be negative, we're at 1-1 one, one now in the season. We take on Lux next week, who I just remembered I have not yet scheduled with, so I'll go do that. <laughs> uh, like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. Definitely, definitely, definitely check out Goki and every other coach in the UPBA. We're doing it real big this season, you know, so we got we got all the homies in here. Uh yeah. Bye forever.